eli yeza li chali tipi. I think ege wukumna, iza ba ili duwe ee raiti ke wukfurabantu. So ke wukumna, diye nda vu mindu ba mandi mandi ilantuzwe, mandi mandi, ma yitra yukum ili ndo. Sabuzakabakotelandone. <laughs> 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 So we can walk on the end of that. I know you can do it, hey man. That means the island is cheap, yeah, bulala. And the zamos protect, and the zamos protect, the protect, and I'm dying, I'm the family. I'm. Is this right? <laughs> So in the first case, this one dim chonga, you dim chongin. Do ba eh unta nam? I want to zawa hamba hambe. Like him, some bangas fumani the first chile. Do ingan pata aku bika cool. Ali fani aku kyo? Yeah. For him, nanti ngoma ma. So when is kala lindo ba u kula njiru kwake? Then we na. The zawa zam do ba manim protect. Kanga ngo kundi na aku. Iliyeza ilenga zangi la seconds yose bantu iliye la kala la la seconds yose kuzloanya na enden tilunge kufneke ililanduzwe ili test yose bantu in so kwa wakum nandi enda ndaz davu mindo ba ndi zayens. Trials are absolutely crucial for progressing science. We need to prove that vaccines a work and b work safely and work in the target populations, you know, the people who really need the vaccines. At the moment, the only way we can see if the vaccine is working is to vaccinate somebody and then follow them up over quite a long period of time, two, three years, to see if they get TB. We need a lot of volunteers for our trials, usually around you know, two to three thousand. I think it's very important that the participants feel like they're part of the group, that together with us they're helping to find the vaccine. No individual group can do it alone. The scientists need the field workers. Without the participants, we haven't got a trial. So we definitely need the community. The moment you build a relationship with your participants, it's whereby they trust you and they're more open with you. So when we go and pick them up at the house, you can't just peep peep outside. You have to get out the car, you have to go knock, and with us closers, it's like you have to greet whoever is there in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's how people get to knowing you. I think most of the people, it's like they really there because they see the need of a new vaccine for TB, and that is why they're actually proud to being part of a clinical trial. So at the end of the day, they can tell their children or their grandchildren that I was part of finding that new vaccine.
The TB vaccine science field has come a long way. We've got a diverse portfolio of candidates that are attempting to attack the issue from different angles. We've had over 15 candidates in clinical trials, dozens more in the very early stages of development. We're looking at different ways that vaccines are delivered. This is great progress for the world. I really give so much credit to vaccine researchers because they're doing so much with so little. It does show when you really do have some commitment to it, what can be accomplished. All the progress that's been made in the last 10 years, it's really brought us to a very exciting turning point, I think, for TB vaccine development. Because we have a number of different kinds of candidates in the pipeline now, having human data for the first time is teaching us an enormous amount that'll help drive the vaccine development moving forward. We've gotten vaccines into phase two, and that's incredibly exciting. Over the last 10 to 15 years that I've been working in the field of infectious diseases in South Africa, I think there's been dramatic shifts in understanding, and we're in a new generation now where people are understanding much more. I think it is a fundamentally different space. We've certainly made a lot of progress in the last 10 years. We're getting new diagnostics, we're getting new drugs, we've got a pipeline of new vaccines. I think if we had an efficacious, durable, vaccine, it would totally change the game for TB elimination. That would be a huge leap forward. Particularly at this time, the first and second decade of the 21st century, the scientific opportunities are breathtaking. Things that we could not have done 10, 15, 20 years ago are now so available to us. Well, the solution is innovation. We are going to innovate our way out of this disease. How do we get better drugs, diagnostics? How do we develop new vaccines? Innovation is the key to this disease. And we can do it. We can do it. And we just need to care enough to do it. treatment <laughs> Bangas feeling I 